Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So here I will explain one of the topics that a lot of students are confused about and that is the serum ascites albumin gradient which is also known as the SAG. I also put here some random pictures about ascites. So the first picture here uh, shows uh, the abdominal distension that comes with, with ascites and the second picture shows a CT scan of a patient with ascites and you can see the acetic fluid is around the abdominal viscera and the third picture here shows some arrows pointing towards the locations that the acetic fluid goes to when it is formed in the abdomen. So let's start by defining the SAG. So the SAG is one of the investigations used to evaluate newly diagnosed or worsening ascites and it is used to distinguish the causes of ascites whether it is caused by portal hypertension or malignancy or other causes. So it's mainly used to distinguish the causes of ascites. So a sample of the acetic fluid is taken via paracentesis. So this is here shows the paracentesis uh, procedure. So basically a cannula places through the abdominal wall and uh, a drain is placed to drain some of the acetic fluid for the uh, SAG to be investigated. And then the sample is taken to laboratory to calculate the albumin level and also the sample of the patient blood also taken for albumin level calculation. So basically the sample that's taken is used to calculate albumin and also a patient blood also taken to for albumin level 2. And then you can find this, the SAG value through this equation by uh, serum albumin that you uh, find through this test before uh, minus the ascites albumin. Now after you uh, find out about the SAG value, so if it is more than 1.1 gram per deciliters, this means that the albumin level in the blood is much higher than the acetic fluid. So it means that the acetic fluid has low protein or low albumin value. And this means that the acetic fluid is forming due to high pressure driving the fluid into the peritoneum. So because of the low albumin level in the acetic fluid, this means that the acetic fluid is coming from uh, the high pressure driving the fluid uh, through the vascular walls. So it means that the vascular walls are healthy, there is no problem with them, and the pressure, the high pressure from the circulation is driving this fluid through. Uh, and this high pressure is caused by, most of the times, by portal hypertension, and portal hypertension is caused by a lot of causes, including liver cirrhosis, the most common cause for that, and the heart failure, the bad Chiari syndrome, and more causes. If the SAG value is less than 1.1 grams per deciliter, means that the albumin level in the blood is a little higher than the acetic fluid. And it means that the acetic fluid has uh, a lot of protein. It has more protein uh, and the, this means that the problem is the vessels. They are leaking the albumin and the fluid into the, into the peritoneum. So if you find that the acetic fluid has uh, a lot of protein, it means that the uh, vessels are the problem and they are leaking the albumin through. And causes of that include malignancy, malignancy affecting the vessels, and means that peritoneum malignancy, some kind of that, or GIT malignancy, infections also, affecting the vascular walls and the pancreatitis also. There is also another test that is also calculated with the SAG and that is the total acetic protein. So total acetic protein is used with the SAG to identify the cause of ascites. And the same ascites sample taken for the SAG is also used to calculate the total protein. So after you calculate the total acetic protein, if the value is less than 2.5 gram per deciliters, 
This means that the total acidic protein is low and it is mostly caused by bartle hypertension because remember the high, uh, high pressure gradient driving the fluid into the abdomen. Other causes include the nephrotic syndrome because in the nephrotic syndrome the oncotic pressure is less than normal because the patient is losing proteins, serum proteins and this also lead to uh, the pressure in the vessels driving the fluid into the abdomen and there is uh, the tuber tuberculosis peritonitis this infection also causes uh, the acetic protein to be less than 2.5 and if the total acetic protein is higher than 2.5 this means that it is high and it is caused uh, by malignancy, infections and heart failure now here we have this table uh, it has the SAG values and the total protein values so if the SAG is less than 1.1 and more than 1.1 and the protein is less than 2.5 and more than 2.5 so after you calculate the SAG and the total protein you find uh, about which cell the patient uh, fit so if the if the protein or if the SAG is less than 2.1 and the protein is less than 2.5 it is mostly because it is nephrotic syndrome uh, if it is if the sag is less than 1.1 and the protein is more than 2.5 it means that the cause is either cancer pancreatitis or infection and if the if the sag is more than 0.1 and the the protein is less than 2.5 it is in liver cirrhosis in Bartchiari syndrome too and the final one, if the SAG is more than 1.1 and the protein is more than 2.5, this uh, occur in heart failure and veno occlusive disease. And with that, we reached the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to support more, you can by subscribing to the Patreon. Link you provided in the description of, the, of this video. Thank you for watching and peace.